Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another morning's devotion. I am Ms. T. Lewis, and I am so glad you came to join me today. But first, let us bow our heads, close our eyes, and open our hearts. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for this day, for this day. Lord, please hear us. Lord, please hear us when we pray, when we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for a brand new day. Lord, thank you for loving and caring for us. Please help us to be patient that we may be more like you. Bless our Bahama land in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, do you remember a time in your life when you could not walk? You had to learn to crawl in order to stand on your two feet strongly and make the first steps. It took time and patience. Yes, time goes with patience because if you're not patient, you will run out of time. You have to learn to wait and try and try again until you get better at it. Maybe it was hard for you to tie your laces or maybe to whistle or blow blow up a bubble gum or balloon. But you tried and tried again. You were patient, you didn't get angry, you waited and one day, suddenly, you were able to do all of the things that you couldn't have done. God wants us to be patient and try and try again. He wants us to wait and not get angry easily because he is going to come through for us if we just wait a little bit longer. Today's Bible verse is found in Psalms chapter 40 verse 1. It reads, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Our Bible verse teaches us to be patient when waiting on the Lord. He will hear our cries. God promises Abraham a story about patience. Long ago in a place called Ur, God spoke to a man named Abram and commanded him to leave that land. God said, go to the land I will show you and I will bless you and your children. Abram obeyed God. God called him to the land of Canaan. His wife Sarai and nephew Lot went with him. In Canaan, both Abram and Lot became rich. They had large herds of cattle. There was not enough pasture for so many animals. Lot's herdsmen quarreled with Abram's herdsmen. Let there be no trouble, Abram said. We will separate. Lot, you take first choice of the land you want. Lot chose a great grassy plain dotted with cities and villages. It looked good, but the cities were very wicked places. After Lot left, God spoke again to Abram, I give all the land of Canaan to you and your children forever. Abram and Sarai had no children. How could God keep his great promise? Three men of God came to Abram and Sarai. You will have a baby soon, they said. Sarai laughed. She did not believe God's message. She was 90 years old. God told Abram he would now be called Abraham, father of many, and Sarai would be Sarah, princess. God also told Abraham he would destroy the two wicked cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham's nephew, Lot, lived in Sodom with his family. Lot believed God's warning when it came but his daughter's husbands refused to leave Sodom. How tragic! They didn't believe God's word. Only Lot and his two daughters made it to safety. Fire and brimstone fell upon the wicked cities. Sadly, Lot's wife disobeyed God's warning and, sh and looked back as she ran. She turned into a pillar of salt. The Lord kept his promise to Abraham and Sarah. They had a child in their old age, just as God said. 
how they rejoiced when Isaac was born. Perhaps Abraham also thought about God's promise to give him and his children the land of Canaan forever. God would keep that promise too. God always keeps his promises. God did exactly what he said he would do. Abraham and Sarah remained patient. They obeyed God and God blessed them. We can be patient, we can wait on God, and God will answer our prayers. Question of the day. What does the word Abraham mean? A. King of all people. Or B. Father of many. Yes, B. Father of many. Sometimes patience can mean just simply calming down, finding peace, and waiting until it is time for us to make a move. See you soon, and remember to be patient.